So one of my uh, viewers on my channel asked me why I don't just get a proper job and I wouldn't be forced to live in a car like that. <laughs> That's a very good question and uh, I'll, uh, I've got a few videos already where I roughly address that question but I'll uh, have another go here. So I think by proper job um, he means why don't you uh, find employment, find a boss to work for. So I did that for several decades, uh, worked for the boss um, on various kind of uh, project management type roles in my, uh, in my sector. But uh, back in around 2018, I chose to make a change and I chose to um, go independent and build up my own business around writing books and self-publishing books. And that's what I'm currently doing, building up my own kind of uh, business. And one of the great advantages of living in a tiny car like that, which is entirely by my choice, is that my costs are dramatically reduced when compared to when I used to live in a property and pay um, rent. So dramatically reducing my costs has put me in a very good position to gradually build up my own kind of independent lifestyle of writing books and earning an income from a backlog list of books that I'm currently writing and will publish over time. I currently have seven books self-published, but I need to probably get to about 15 or 20 in order to start earning a, a kind of a livable income. So in the meantime, I'm kind of bootstrapping and I'm kind of living very minimally, very cheaply, whilst I build up that kind of uh, business basically of book writing and publishing so up until a few months ago I did have accumulated savings which uh, I was basically living on as I was writing books and getting them published I've depleted those resources so um, I am doing the odd contracts and I will probably take a, some part-time work to fill the gap between gradually building up a backlist of books and an income that way and the immediate cash flow um, situation where I do need to earn some money more quickly than the book sales will yield enough. So I don't know whether one would uh, class being kind of an independent, essentially self-employed person as having a proper job, but um, I think it is. Obviously living in a car is a bit unconventional, but um, having your own kind of business, in my case writing books and independently publishing them I would class as a proper job what I don't have is an employer I don't have a boss um, and I personally think that's a really good place to be and I would class that as a proper um, livelihood if not a proper job as such and this way of life means I get to live in places like this <laughs> dreary dull um, Ventnor Beach um, so it's an incredibly freeing way to live, living minimally, living in a vehicle like that. But it's definitely not for everyone. It's not for most people. Well, most people could do it, but most people wouldn't do it, I would suggest. Um, so I'm very happy in doing what I'm doing. And I think it's a proper lifestyle, but maybe not a proper job. <laughs>